Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Le Plata. So, guys, we are invading the mighty empire of Brazil. Or, they're just known as Brazil now, because I kind of dropped the empire thing a long time ago when I took a lot of land from them. <laughs> okay, so, anyways, people, we are attacking with much ferocity in almost everything we do. I mean... It looks like we're going to win this pretty handily. I have a lot of my vassals starting to come help me, and Brazil's basically dead. <laughs> just, just flatly put, Brazil's basically dead, so I have no worries. Uh, on a bad note, though, it seems like the British somehow recovered their land. Or I should say the uh, Dutch actually seized the land, so that's kind of bad for us. Doesn't mean, we don't, doesn't mean we don't get our free region that I wanted. So, if I was to do it, I'd have to do it on to here, which means it's kind of not worth it anymore. Because I don't really want any more land over there to the, to the left of us in the uh, colonization range. Because that means it's just going to take us longer. So, I'm just going to cancel that and pretend it never happened. Pretend that I was never trying to take advantage of the British Empire at all in their time of crisis. When they're at war with almost basically the entire world. Also, these Brazilians are grouping up with really good coordination. That's really scary. Like, that's really scary. Also, we just destroyed the rest of the uh, Brazilian men over here. We're gonna go hunt down this army. Because that's what we do as Brazil. We hunt down armies. This should be a slaughter again. 6,000 versus 48k. Yeah. Democracy. Yeah. Democracy. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's move down our troops down into the uh, lower parts of Brazil. Defeat the rest of this army. Then once they're gone, then we will, well, I think we can basically end the war after that. I mean, we really don't have to stay in too, too long. I mean, these guys are going to be duking it out for a long time. I mean, America's already, as long as America keeps Canada inside their, as long as they keep Canada inside the war score, they should be able to get a lot of war goal from this. If they peace out of Canada really quickly, they won't be able to get their goal. Which, I honestly hope that America does accomplish their goal, because if they can dismantle the armies of the mighty British Empire, then we basically have a gigantic advantage to us. Which is going to be nice, because the British, ever since they became fascists, I do not trust them. Like, seriously, ever since they became fascists, I have a serious worry, and I really want to... I really don't want them to spread any more of their message across the world. I do not need more fascists in my country. I do not need more fascists in any other country. Especially countries that could potentially become my enemy in a couple years. No sir we. Also got Brazilian nationalist. Uh not really an issue. My other rebel hunters will be able to deal with them. I mean it's not like they really are gonna do anything except just be an annoyance. You know, if I was smart about this, what I could have done non hostile you know what I could have done, guys, is I could have built a factory in one of these places. And then like when I come back I could have just conquered it and then it become mine. Now, this is what happened if I was smart. I could possibly still do that if I can find a little tiny country that I would be willing to declare war on that does not have significant ties to the rest of the world. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. You know, Cuba? You have absolutely no friends, no alliances, and everyone hates you. Oh, you are perfect. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you are perfect. Did I build stuff? Oh, you are perfect. Okay, so... Um, you're gonna build a, I don't even care if you guys keep it, a radio factory, a tank factory, and a airplane factory. Oh, an airplane factory. There we go. Good old Cuba. Now, once Cuba builds all these things I just assigned him to build, then we will go in, take Cuba, and make it one of our imperialist states. Why? Mostly because I need an airplane factory, and I'm getting tired of my capitalists not building it for me. Also, the last of the remnants of the Brazilian army is dying right there in the Battle of... The Battle of Forte de Príncipe. I probably butchered that really hardly, but I can't really have a choice. Let's see, for Portugal, you guys are... Ooh, you guys are going to become communists. Wow, okay. Didn't see that one coming, but... Yeah, the, commun the communists are actually kind of scary in this, because we have so many communists around the world. I'm really, I'm honestly kind of scared, and this is not me just kind of joking, like, the world we've created is definitely one that 
I do not like in the history books. It's not the world I created. It's a world that just like turned into Oh my goodness. Okay. Anyways, I'll get a hold of myself now, people. I'll get a hold of myself. Let's get a hold. The German British Alliance of of 1926. See, that's why I'm scared of that because the British and the the British and the Germans, if they unite, we have a serious problem. That could with their navy, with the British Navy and the Germans military, we have an unstoppable force that we could never win in any kind of years, and we basically have a situation where it's worse than Napoleon. And guess in our timeline, Adolf Hitler. Yeah, this is kind of scary, but we. We as America doesn't really have to deal with that because we're we're mostly like countries that don't really have to deal with most conquests. I mean, no one's really gonna try to mount an invasion against our country, and if they do, they're gonna probably fail because. Well, let's just be honest. We're a better country than most other countries, and honestly, our defenses are basically foolproof. So if you try to invade us, we're basically gonna kill you. <laughs> and it seems like my little vassals are all grouping up into one province and sieging it very fiercely. Good job, guys. Keep sieging up those provinces. Okay, and we destroy the rest of the Brazilian army. And let's see, has Cuba built those factories? Let's see, are they building those factories? In a couple days, they will build them. Good. They're building this one first, which is what I need. Okay, and it seems like you guys want to surrender already, which means I want to take any more land, because it's at the very end of the game, and I don't really have to be particularly, you know, ungreedy, if you know what I mean. So, let's see. Eh. What? White Peace? Heck no! Yeah, I'm not getting White Peace. You have to fight me to the very end, Brazil. You guys have to fight me to the very end. I'm not giving you guys White Peace. What do, you, what do you think, I'm crazy? I'm winning! Why'd I give you White Peace? Oh my goodness, you guys are crazy. Like cray cray. Seriously, just cray cray. Oh my goodness. And it seems like the French war against Brazil ended. Ooh. I would say I'd be winning by a lot, actually, but apparently I must not be winning by that much. Yeah, it takes all... I'm going to have to go a full 100% on you before you guys will give me this. Wow. You guys are an annoying little nation. Okay. Let's just keep dividing up your land, then. Okay. Or we just siege up everything. Okay. Let's see. Let's go siege up some of this stuff. Actually, let's go siege up some of this stuff. And we're just going to start from there. You guys are basically not going to give me the land I want, so we're just gonna basically going to have to take it from force. Hopefully, maybe by the time we're done with this war, we'll have all the provinces we need for our little invasion of Cuba. It's... I do admit this is probably going to be one of those reasons I've never come up with to actually invade another country, but... You know what? When the time comes, I bet everyone would choose the same exact decision I did. Or they would probably have not switched to not having free free economy throughout the entire thing oh no i know why our economy is having difficulties because we're no longer in laissez-faire the liberals are out of power now dang it actually the liberals were giving us a major boost to our economy which really did help me out i didn't have to pay anything <laughs> okay but america right now see america i have no clue if they're gonna be able to win this rebellion who is it portugal uh do i gain a ad add to uh no i don't gain what i want there's not really much point to keep you guys i mean i didn't even to be honest portugal and don't take this the wrong way i didn't even know you guys were in my sphere until like a couple days ago and i was like oh really huh okay i didn't know i didn't know we were friends or buddies that way wow <laughs> okay why are you taking a, a dump on my country on my little friends of romania and yugoslavia because you guys want to conquer Bosnia. Oh, great. Italy's expanding. That's not good. That's definitely not good. That means... Ooh. That means it's probably not a smart idea to invest in you anymore. As long as... Romania's still a smart idea just because they'll be able to survive. But everyone else, no. It's not a very smart idea. And let's see... Communists have risen up in a lot of my places, but I don't think they're going to ever be able to gain the prominence they once did in my country. Or to the point where they accidentally stage a coup in my country. None of those things seem like they interact very well. And let's see. Brazil's army is absolutely nothing compared to me. And I'm just ripping right through their land. There's absolutely nothing they can really do about it. Let's just keep conquering upwards. 
You guys gonna offer it? No, you guys gonna uh leave them be. Okay, I already said I already said unions are legal in my country. Wait, did I? Did I say legal unions are legal in my country? Yeah, I, I said trade unions are legal in my country, so I really don't care. Do whatever you wish, do whatever you want, make whatever you need to make yourself happy. Just talk to me first before you guys decide you guys are going to go on to a gigantic, stupid German core. Oh, you are annoying me right now, you darn fascist. Ugh. You know, I would like to say this though, they are not as annoying as the Jackson Rebels because I think the most annoying group in the entire game is has been and always will be the Jacobson Rebels. Because they just annoy the heck out of me. And absolutely, I don't think I, I could go save Romania right now because they probably need my help. Tensions? Hmm. 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 Okay, it seems like it seems like the British had finally speared the uh, these guys, so I'm gonna give up on that. And as I said, Anai Klink is now basically China. Basically, I mean they still got all this China to conquer, but they'll get onto it very quickly. They're conquering the other big gigantic nation. Hmm. Excuse me, people. In their way, once they do that, then they basically have a little bit more, and they basically can go over China. The Bolshevik. Does that mean you guys are free? No. Okay, and don't talk to me. Until you guys become my own free nation, I don't technically acknowledge you. Let's see, and after we're all done with this, I think we're basically done to the point where we basically def destroyed, uh, we, yeah, we basically conquered all this region. That means we're now going to start getting ticking war score in our favor, which means this is nice. You guys ready to admit peace? No. You guys seriously want to go to 100% war score with this? Wow. Okay. We can do that, but it's really quite annoying that you guys want to go to 100% war score. All over the beginning of the Amazon rainforest. I mean, this rightfully belongs to La Plata. You can't deny it. This right, this land rightfully belongs to us. So, I don't know what you guys are doing, but you guys know you're in the wrong here. And let's see, America is sinking all the ships of the British. Oh, wow. They're just... The British must be like, shoot, 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 shoot. Let's see, let's get the last little technology there. Let's see, Cuba, how are you doing in building up my factories? I mean, I don't care if you guys keep the factories. You guys just need to build the factories, at least once. Once you guys build the factories, then we can talk. Let's see, America's completely occupied. Ca Canada's basically gone now. There is no Canada. There is occupied America. And let's see, they are really insanely close. Oh, good. Thank goodness you guys saw the light. And let's see. I can already start converting more provinces. Oh, yay! Oh, my goodness, that gave me just enough colonial power to convert all these. Wait, did it? No. Wait, I still got to convert this. So, oh, yay! More free states. Yeah. Okay, so I got all this converted. So... In the end, most of my African provinces actually became legit states. In the end, I should say. Oh my goodness. And then, we have this one right here who is being a very major, like, annoyance. And this is now Le Plata. Everyone vask in its glory. Also, build railroads, because railroads are quite essential to our economy. Also, you guys go back over here to go guard the Ecuadorian borders. Because Ecuador is a wild card. Sometimes they do well, sometimes they don't. And let's see. Ah, my new provinces. How I love thee. And let's see. How well you managed. <laughs> we can increase the state administration by a little bit. Bureaucrats, go over there. And let's see. America's doing its thing over there. Outrageous! I don't even know what's outrageous, but outrageous! And let's see. Cuba's still building the factories, so I can't quite attack them yet. Um, is that true? Cuba's still building these? When you're gonna be done? When you're gonna be done, Cuba? I'm waiting! You're kinda slowing down my plans! And let's see, Portugal is apparently... 
I'm influencing Portugal back into my imp influence, which I guess I can do. I mean, they are... I guess I have accepted communism into my, you know, spheres of influence. I guess I can also accept, you know, evil fascism into my core, too. Well, I'm not really hiding my political views here, all, all right. Yeah, my country did... That's mostly... By the way, I'm playing kind of a... Uh, from a role-playing set. Wow, they really... They do this a lot. They really love each other a lot. Like, Germany and Britain are like, Yeah, we're buddies. Let's just keep high-fiving each other, bro fists and everything. But, like... My people, let's see, my people are mostly comprised of conservatives and liberals. So yeah, it makes kind of sense I would hate everything about the fascists and the socialists. It's just kind of how my people work. Uh, yeah, no, production is more valuable. Especially in a place, oh yeah, I support this full hold heartedly. If more people can go to colonies and get me more people, that'd be nice. Because we definitely need more culture conversion to all these places. Wow, that's, hmm, you know, con oh, that's oh, you. I thought that was mine. I was like, you know, surprisingly, a lot of my people are over here. Oh, it's not me. Hmm, never mind. That made me kind of disappointed. And let's see, La Plata. Man, I should have taken this part right here. That way, Brazil would have ended up, like, right there. Oh, man, that would have been so awesome. Oh, there's still one more chance for one more war. And let's see, exploding Antimeria. Yay, nitrogen goes kaboom. And let's see, Brazil, okay, it seems like the British are invading, and America is actually going to start getting a ticking more score against them, I think, no? Well, I thought they were. They should still be able to keep winning this, because they still have the utmost advantage, battle-wise, and yeah, you know what, America, go through my land as much as you need to. If you need to destroy these guys, please do. I am fully and utterly in your support, honestly. Your major ally is the lowest South America, or as we like to call ourselves, America. Because we are both equal and important America to America. And let's see. Will you guys actually build these factories, or will I have to build them myself? Oh my goodness, you guys. Hey, Cuba, get on the building these. Wait, is it? do I not have any of these things because, like, my people never actually built them? Let's see. Did you guys ever build my, uh things yes you guys did build them good okay it means I have a tank factory a couple different tank factories and still I have nothing to show for in terms of building hmm. let's see we have a couple different collapsed factories in a very very v may I say very very um uh oh wow partner let's just open these factories and I'll be right back people for a second Okay, sorry about that, people. My mom was just basically telling me that I had to go, like, switch over my laundry. I'm like, yeah, I know, Mom. It's it's not like I don't have a clock here telling me when I have to switch over my laundry, but okay, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, Parents, am I right? <laughs> okay, so as we can see right now, we can do social reforms. Ten-hour workdays is probably going to make everyone really happy in the world. I mean, it makes me really happy that my people work less. But when they work less, that means they usually have to increase taxes, which usually doesn't make them very happy. I mean, they must be like, yay, we work less, but at the same time, our government increases taxes. So, should we really be happy about this? You probably should, because I'm still a nice guy on the inside. And I give you guys a lot of benefits, a lot of different um, privileges, I should say. Like, for instance, we are not a country that really oppresses um, unknown people. I mean, granted, our country is about 40% our culture. That's pretty good. I mean, that shows we are very much a, a society that embraces tolerance. Tolerance and efficiency. And as many immigrants as we can ever get our hands on because they help fuel our factories. Yes. All the immigrants we can ever achieve in this lifetime. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, yeah, China... We have basically Big Bad China over here going to be, like, doing stuff. We have our armies not being built because of just stupid reasons. And Cuba's supposed to be the saving grace right now, but I don't think they're going to be able to do it. They seem to be too... I, I also don't understand why they're not building these, because they have enough radio. I, I literally built an electrical gear factory, so they have enough. Hmm. 
I really don't know anymore. Let's see, how are you guys doing with your guys' tank factories? It's pretty much good. Just keep your, just keep those factories open, and I just want to say, guys, thank you guys for watching. This has been another fun and exciting episode. Well, like I said, we took a little bit of Brazil. We're getting up to going to go attack Cuba eventually, whenever they build my last little bit of factories, which for some reason they're not. So maybe what I have to do is build, destroy them, and then rebuild them. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.